What's up YouTube? This is Kevin with a zero HP and you and I are going to be watching a replay of Epic Proportion. Um, the undead scourge has risen and the living mortals of the world of Warhammer must unite and fight them off. And uh, today is a custom scenario that myself, I am playing the dwarfs and uh, my friend Ian, you know, Ian is playing the Bretonians, the kingdom of the Bretonians. Look at them, they're so nice. He has a lot of peasant bowmen, which is going to be nice. Um, he, uh, oh, we also have special guest Tim, uh, our friend Tim here, he's a Timinator. He's going to be playing the Empire. And he's brought a couple crossbowmen, he's brought some, um, Demigriff Knights over here, which was deployed way out there. I have no idea why. Uh, <laughs> and then Ian also, look how badass these guys are. Ian also brought these Holy Grail Knights, or just Grail Knights, but I, I call them the Holy Grail Knights because they have glowing lancers. Look at that. In a uh, side by side comparison to the uh, regular Knights of the Realm, uh, of course, they have the glowing lancers. That's pretty much about the difference of the the model, anyways, of the uh, the knights for the Bretonians. And uh, of course, he's brought some more uh, men at arms. Ton of men at arms. The Bretonians lack, if anything, lack infantry. Um, their their you know missile units can use some help too, but uh, they have amazing cavalry. They're so good. Um, he also brought spears at arms. Um, you know, there's just spears with they have some of them even have pitchforks like that. They have pitchforks and stuff. And shields, of course. There is uh his king, uh Leon Kerr or something like that. And uh our friend Tim here, he's brought a lot a freaking lot of <laughs> the uh great swords. They're like <laughs> there's so many. There's so many great swords, um, but yes, he brought his ma majority of his units are just great swords, and then of course he had those crossbowmen and the Demi Griff Knight, and uh, he also where is his Lita? He brought Carl Franz. Oh, there he is, right there, Carl Franz. So he brought Carl Franz, and uh, yeah, and I'm playing the dwarfs, and I am you know just brought basically just brought a bunch of Iron Breakers. It's because like they're the coolest looking unit in the game in my opinion. Um, just like little dwarfs with uh, they even have like little armor pieces for their beards and everything. It's pretty sick. Um, but yes, yeah, so today, a uh, uh, you know a united front with all the living mortals of the world will be fighting against the undead scourge, which is uh, we've calculated this to be about sixteen thousand zombies. So that's quite a bit against our comparison of like three thousand units. So yeah, we we fought off, <laughs> we fought off a lot of a lot of zombies. So um, let's go and check this out here. So as you can see, a ton, a literal shit ton of zombies. So the frame rate, of course, will be uh, affected by that. But uh, you know, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh, I also. I deployed a uh, small unit of miners. They're basically the scouts. They they warn the armies of the you know of the free people of uh, you know Warhammer and uh, that there's an undead scourge and you know they they're gonna be the front line. They're gonna be the first encounter. So that's gonna be fun. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this started here. Let's go ahead and play here. So we are setting up here. As you can tell, we are trying to. Pull up this uh, or hold this hill and make sure that they have to come up to us and fight us. So, and uh, yeah, so we're all maneuvering here. As you can see, a lot of collision, people walking into each other. Uh, but the dwarfs, the dwarfs want nothing to do with this. As you can see, I don't know what the lore is behind this, but as you can see, all the zombies are humans. There are no dwarf zombies. So, I'm assuming. The dwarves want nothing to do with this war or this fight, and but they got dragged in because um, you know they were just like in this mountain right here because they're like, hey, you guys are in this mountain, come help us out. And we're like, uh, all right, I guess. And you know, dwarfs are never gonna turn down a good fight. So, yes, as you can see, I don't know. I think the lore is like the dwarfs are like magic resistant, so they can't be resurrected using magic. 
I, I, that's my assumption. I have no idea if that's true or not. Um, but yeah, so tons of zombies is like a horde. Look at this. Look at this shot. Look at this. Look at this. We're just holding this hill, you know, last stand of the living mortals of the world. And uh, yeah, this is going to be pretty epic. Let's go ahead and uh, fast forward it a little bit so they can... We'll get them to meet my miners and then we'll go ahead and just uh, press play. As you can see, they are actually hidden in this little patch of trees so they don't see them, the, the, the zombies don't anyways. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty even. And let's see. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Get ready for this. Get ready for this. Alright, they see my units. I'm like, oh shoot. The scouts are all like, we have to hold men. We have to delay the hold. Kazook. And they charge out with their huge pickaxes. Boom. Boom. So they cast some sort of debuff on my miners. You know, the vampire counts do. So my, my my guys are just fighting it. Just holding the line. Just tossing the zombies out. Oh, I also, right before this battle, we bought the blood and gore. Or blood for the blood god. Uh, DLC, so they're gonna get it's gonna get real bloody. So it's rated R, you guys. All all you youngsters out there, turn away, because this is gonna be a lot of decapitation, a lot of limbs flying around. And uh, see, so as you can tell, the front line guys are already getting bloodied up. And uh, yeah, and then see these guys, they don't even care. They're like, okay, f screw those dwarfs. We're gonna go ahead and rush the main army. And oh oh, Ian's uh, bowmen are already unleashing. Unleashing the fury. Fire! I don't want to be a zombie. Oh, he, does, he doesn't want to be a zombie, guys. You hear that? Look at this. Look at this. It's volley after volley. Oh, what the... What is this? What is this? Manfred. Manfred, what are you doing? He's just going balls deep. Okay. Oh, my God. He's, uh... He's channeling his inner Boromir. Oh my god! What just happened? Oh, he's still- Oh my god! He's channeling his inner Boromir. He has like arrows sticking out of him. And he- Oh, he just hit my line. Oh my goodness. And here we go. And thus it begins. And my Iron Breakers are the first to make contact. But our friend Tim here, he said, Oh, let me help you out. Let me reinforce your lines with my great swords. And then Ian, you know, um, very wisely pulls his archers back. Tim is also on this right flank by himself. He's holding it with his, all his great swords. And uh, they're doing a pretty good job so far. They're Sigma, wrecking house. On, and I'm just, my iron breaker's just throwing those charges, those explosive charges out. How did my miners do? Oh, here are my miners. They're running away. <laughs> they're like, oh my god, there's too many zombies. We delayed them as best we can, my lord. Alright, his bowmen are pulling up behind the lines. And then, oh, what is this? Oh, they're trying to get a flanking maneuver here. Hopefully Tim sees this. But we're helping him as best. Oh, Manfred. Or not Manfred, I'm sorry. Carl Franz is single-handedly holding that flank back. That's nice. Must be nice. Here you go. My dwarfs, run! Run, humans! Run! First contact. Uh-oh. Man at arms. They don't want to be zombies, but they're going to have to fight them. So they, the AI wisely stretched our lines so far to the left here that we had to uh, take some of our reserves and put them over here because we were afraid we were going to get flanked from behind. So this flank seems to be a little bit weaker. He also, Ian has his Grail Knights and his Knights of the Realm here. S -s Side seems a little bit uh, weaker than the say the center or maybe even the left over here in the reserves so look at this look at this battle the frame rate is so bad there's just so many units on screen right now oh oh friendly fire oh my goodness I did not see that my bad <laughs> like I said the dwarfs want nothing to do with this war so they're just trying to blow these zombies up even if it, you know at the cost of other human lives Whoops, sorry Ian, sorry Bretonia, but this is kind of your fault for feeding the horde. 
My Iron Breakers, of course, you know, are holding very steadily. Not breaking, they're like almost impossible to break. That's why I love the dwarfs. And then uh, Tim's great swords are getting all bloodied up, but they're holding their side as well. Uh, this yellow effect means that the zombies are starting to decay or, or crumble, and that means that they're taking damage over time, anyways. Oh, what is this? Oh, he wants to come right at me. This vampire lord. Oh, dang! Don't let the zombies bite. Look at this, look at this. We're holding this hill, look at all these pikes and halbergs. Just holding the, holding the hill here. Trying their best. Look at this shot, look at this shot. If you're like a dwarf, like this is this is what I was doing. I was just like, okay. All right, zombies on both sides. We're just gonna chill. I didn't want to commit my guys, cause again, I didn't want to lose any of them. This is not our war, this is not our fight. This is the human's fault. Except for these guys, these uh, iron breakers were forced to hold that left flank by themselves for a while I committed my miners back in I was like I was trying to plug in this gap this gap was uh, exposed so I just tried to plug it with my miners but uh, you know Tim se seems like he won his side just one unit left what are they trying to do oh they're trying to outmaneuver Ooh, look at these guys very smart zombies they're trying to go after, uh, go against the weaker Bretonian infantry. Ooh, look at that lunge! Come on, lads, get stuck in. Oh, oh! Fight, lads! Oh, that decapitation, though. Ooh, my goodness. Tim is, you know, wisely tries to outflank him behind him. He just, he knows that no one else is gonna come, no reinforcements, so he's gonna commit his units here. Try to get the flanking bonus. Look at this fight. The gap was exposed. As you can see here, they're starting to make their way through. And Tim is trying to plug that gap in as well. But my Iron Breakers, although, you know, they they don't break. They uh, are, seem like they're struggling against these zombies. They do have a great uh, charge defense, but they don't do much damage. They don't do very good damage against uh, with their weapons. But as you can see, the front line, look at the gore. Look at the blood. The front line seems to be good. Oh! Oh! The March of the Holy Grail Knights. Oh my god. Look at them. Riding into justice. Ride to justice! And ruin! And the world's end! Oh my god. This is amazing. He's gonna outflank these guys right in the back. Oh boy. Oh, he's. Oh! He sees this huge chunk of zombies. So he's gonna try to uh, backstab him or do cycle charges. Let's watch this. Oh my gosh. These holy knights should do extra damage to these uh Oh boy. Oh my god! How epic was that charge? Oh my god, that was so amazing. Oh wow. Now the zombies are just like, what the hell are we gonna do now? We have holy grail knights, we got great swords and dwarfs at our you know every side. And then now I can met my doors and I was like, pull back Ian. Let my dudes finish this. I'm not gonna let you guys take all the glory of this. That charge in was amazing. That cavalry charge followed by my dwarf charge right into their center lines. Honestly, I told Ian to do that because I wanted to steal all the glory. I was like, oh Ian, your your guys are losing. You should pull back. And <laughs> I was like, let me commit my dwarfs. And then he's like, okay. And I'm like, just commit all my dwarfs and just wipe them up. So these back lines are doing pretty well. His uh, Tim's demi griff knights are just tearing up, tearing up shop. Demi griff knights are so awesome too. Look at that, so cool. All right, so this flank. Oh, this seems like thinning out here. These great swords. There should be a thing or mod that every time, like, let's say a scenario like this, that every time you get killed by a zombie, your unit turns into a zombie. Or, like, the you, the one person in the unit that gets killed gets turned into a zombie. Oh, that looks like they all crumbled. We won. We won the day. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this carnage. Ridiculous. Look at all these dead bodies. I cannot believe it. And then Tim... Look at him! He held his whole side by himself. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. 
Wow. Let's go ahead and look at the stats here and see what we have. So, myself, I only deployed 676 units. Um, I only lost 49, which is <laughs> probably mostly the miners. Yep, mostly the miners. Uh, my iron breakers were, oh my god, 210. It must be the unit that was on the left flank that was first contact. Um, I didn't even try, uh, Ur Urgrim didn't even go in, or Ungrim. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, Manfred got 18 kills. Let's go and check out Ian. I'm assuming his knights, oh, his, whoa, look at his bowmen, tearing it up. This unit didn't do so well, but, oh my god, yes, look at his grail knights. Ridiculous. Look at this. All together, almost freaking by himself, a thousand kills. That's crazy. That's really crazy. Oh, apparently he, uh, oh, his lord died. Interesting. His, uh, man-at-arms held pretty well in the center. And then, let's check out, oh my god! Kyle Franz took out 265 by himself. Oh yeah, and his great swords are just tearing it up. Look at that. They held that side by themselves. Demigriff knights. Very cool. And then look at all these these zombies. So yeah, there we go. That is um, you know, the mortals of Warhammer have won the day at least for now until they get resurrected again. But uh, we appreciate you guys watching. Of course, if you like this like, comment, subscribe, um, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter. We have all that good stuff in the comments below or the subs uh, the description below, I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, thanks f uh, for watching. Again, if you guys have any suggestions of what scenarios or custom scenarios that we should do or play, uh, let us know. Uh, we're down to play some as well. If you just let us know, talk to us, we always uh, reply back. So I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, keep it weird.